This proposed 3D design is for the construction of a factory that would produce lithium-ion batteries for eco-friendly vehicles. The design is targeted at a production rate of 35 gigawatt hours of energy annually. Battery production is generally made up of two parts. The first part aims at treating raw materials and includes the use of chemical processes. The second part consists of mechanical processing when the different components are assembled. In this design, both sub-processes are fully automated. The Nordic Energy Capital The cluster in Vasa consists of over 140 companies, several of which are global market leaders. The total business turnover is 4.4 billion euros annually and the number of employees is 11,000. Exports account for 80% of revenue. Local mineral supply. Battery grade lithium carbonate from lithium deposits in Korstinen. The most significant lithium resources known to exist in Europe. The world's largest cobalt refinery, Freeport Cobalt, is located in Kotla and Finland is the only major cobalt producer in the EU. Norilsk Nickel Harjavalta, close to Pori, produces 50,000 tons of nickel annually. Skarland Graphite in the northern Norway is world's richest flake graphite deposit in operation. Full Logistics The area has multiple freight ports with access to Baltic and Atlantic ports. The Vasa International Airport is one of the busiest in Finland. The cities are connected with a railroad network and a coastal highway. Raw Material Offloading The main raw materials which include the positive raw material, negative raw material, insulator material and other required chemicals are ready to be offloaded automatically to the storage area. The first stage is offloading raw materials automatically from the trucks with the aid of automated guided vehicle AGV to the racks in the storage area. This process ensures the raw materials are offloaded without human intervention. Raw material storage. Battery electrode raw materials are a positive cathode slurry with aluminum foil, a negative anode slurry with copper foil and an insulating material. Slurries consists of active materials, conductive materials, binding materials and a liquid solvent. Steps involved in the preparation of coated electrode sheets are done separately for both the positive and negative material. Mix it. The raw materials are fed automatically into the giant cylindrical mixers by the help of chemical pot feeders. This material mixing takes place in the lined up cylindrical giant mixers. Both positive and negative active materials are crushed into a fine powder to prepare the slurry needed for coating the aluminum and copper foils respectively. Electrode coating and drying. The raw material slurry is transferred to the coater along the pipes. Both copper and aluminum foils are given uniform coatings of the mixture on both sides in these coating machines called Giga Coaters. It both coats and dries foils. Solvent recovery system works alongside the coating machine. As a result, the solvent can be recycled, thereby reducing the solvent consumption. Electrode calendaring. Conveyor belt moves the coated foil rolls to the calendaring machines. Almost all transitions are carried out in a similar way. 
calendaring involves a series of hard pressure rollers that presses foils to be thinner. Thus, calendared electrode requires less space in the cell case and the electrical conductivity is improved. Electrode slitting. The coated and calendared foils are subsequently fed into slitting machines to cut the foil into narrower strips suitable for the electrodes. Slitting involves cutting the electrode roll into the desired width of the cell. During slitting, the tabs are left on the electrode. Later they allow electricity to be transferred to the cell and out of the cell. Each stage from the beginning up to here are separated as a positive and negative electrode manufacturing. Control Laboratory Dried electrodes on both foils are electronically monitored for consistency in the control laboratory. Non-conforming coated strips are scraped and recycled. Winding and cell stacking. During winding, both strips of positive and negative foils are combined and wound together with the insulator that acts as a separator to prevent internal electrodes short circuiting. These windings are tight and are subsequently inserted in the cell case. After the tight windings are inserted in the case, the can is filled with an electrolyte which consists of lithium salt in an organic solution deposited in the revolving electrolyte filling machine. Stages from electrolyte filling. Tab welding to cell sealing are implemented in the revolving machine and the vacuum room otherwise electrolyte loses its properties. Last thing done in the revolving machine room is cell welding and sealing. Cells are covered. Electrode tabs are welded with case covers and cells are sealed. In the vacuum room, the cells are further tested in the control lab to ensure compliance to high quality standards. High temperature aging. High temperature aging, also known as electrolyte drying, allows the non-active components to react with the active materials in a controlled high temperature environment. Formation process. During formation, in other words charge retention, cells are activated by control charge and discharge cycles to activate the materials in the cells. This builds up its capacity.
ambient aging. After formation, cells move to the blue shelves at a lower temperature for further aging that also takes about three hours. Acceptance testing. Qualification testing determines whether individual cells are fit for the purpose for which they are intended before approval. Some of these tests are voltage, current, specific weight, thermal abuse and vibration testing. After acceptance testing, past cells are moved in batches lined up in rows and columns of 35 by 11 totaling 385 cells for a battery pack. These are wired then together to achieve the desired voltage and power. Cells are arranged in the battery packed by the articulated robot. Furthermore, the packs are sealed by the sealing robot before palletizing. Palletizing. When the modules are finished, they are ready for palletizing and shipping. During palletizing, Articulated Roberts picks and places the batteries and Euro pallets in layers for shipment.
shipping. After palletizing, the finished products are loaded automatically into the shipping containers with the help of the automatic loading system and the layout.